What is up my new Vim and command line friends? Today I'm going to show you a little bit about grep and how to quickly find files and strings within your computer. First up, let's search for a string in a file. In order to do that, you use grep and the string match and then whatever file you want to search through. You can use this to search through your gem file or any other files like your package JSON to quickly see if you have something installed. If you want to search through multiple files, simply add them to the end and you can do the same match and then file one, file two, and file three to search through all of those files for the same match. If you want to find a match regardless of the case, you can use the dash I option. Simply put that in between your grep command and the match and you can do a grep dash i and match and then as many files as you want. The more typical approach is to find a match in all the files in a directory. To do that hit the star and you can do grep match and star and it'll search through your entire directory for all those files. An alternative way is to do the dash r and that will search through the directory and all of its subdirectories. Instead of the dot you can give it a directory name like source and views and it'll search through that for you as well. If you need to search through symbolic links, use the big R and then search through that. I'll call out here that if you run into error messages like something is a directory and you see that spewing out into your console, you can use the dash S option and that will silence those. If you need to find multiple words, it's actually a different command where you can do E grep and then pass the W option and then use the pipe delimiter to separate your different words. If you don't feel like you can remember to do E grep, then you can do the dash E command. Note that this probably works a little differently on Linux versus Mac operating systems. So double check that this works how you want it to. For any of these searches, if you want to see the line number, you can add the dash in option and that'll just show the line number at the end of the file. If you want to see the number of matches for each file, then you can use the dash C option and that'll give you all the counts in the entire file. A really handy way to get all the total words for all of your matches is to do the WC-L and after you pipe your output from grep into that command then it'll show you a total of all your different matches. Something that you typically see is a command where you're trying to find a certain match inside certain files. So if you want to do that you can use the find command pass it the file type, and then narrow it down to whatever the names of the files are. For us, maybe it's a TypeScript file, so we would do TS and TSX. Now we wanna have the print zero. That will allow it to go into an XARGs argument very nicely. Using print zero will actually do null characters. And if you do that, you'll wanna do the dash zero in the grep command in order for it to work. Then we can use our grep command and find our match string. If you like videos like this, then definitely like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone.